Now, starting a new year, things feel slightly different. Of course, for the majority. It's a new year and there are many things you want to do to start off the year the right way. You probably want to eat cleaner than last year. You probably want to step into the gym for the first time. Or you probably want to learn a new skill. Even with all of this, some of us, including me, didn't really plan anything for the new year or even last year. We kind of just see it as another year, am I right? I don't know, a, a new year feels new, but like everything else kind of feels the same. Like it's a new year, but like the same old me. But anyway, enough about tangents. Have you ever heard the concepts work now, avoid regret later? If you really want to accomplish anything you put your mind to, you're gonna have to live by this model no matter what. Let me explain. Most people kind of just live life going with the flow they believe in. Fortunately, most people fall into the trap of being consumed by things around us and how we think is a result of what type of environment we are raised in. If there's technology everywhere, we're going to use it no matter what. If we have access to video games, we're most likely going to use them at some point. Most of us unfortunately live in the environment of distractions which, which keep us occupied for the majority of time. Even right now, I, while I'm writing the script, I can't really concentrate because of the fact that there's a movie playing in front of me right now. But you gotta work where you gotta work. You gotta work with what you got. We live in a distracted world and this prevents us from doing what actually matters. Instead of reading the book Irresistible by Adam Atler and find out how social media companies keep you hooked, nah, I'ma just scroll on Instagram for 15 hours straight. Eat some fruit to make you a lot healthier and eat clean most of the time? Nah, I'ma just eat this bag of chips just because it tastes good. Do some homework early because you have time right now? Nah, I'ma just play some Minecraft. Doing things like these is where the saying work now, avoid regret later comes into play. The things we consider fun, quotation marks, would somehow lead to regret later. We play video games right now, forget all the time we spent just playing games. We spend all day on social media, same thing happens. We waste time and regret what we did. We eat a bunch of junk food and we regret eating all of that because we feel like doo-doo later. What if we turn this around? What if we did it the other way around? We replace the bad habits with the better ones. Work hard now, avoid regret later. The sooner we get to work on something that would benefit us, the less we would regret later. A good example of this would be my third period class. I enter class and the teacher just assigns us to work on our drawing assignments for the day. Yeah, you'd think this would be a different class and you'd think art class would be the class where everyone is focused on their tasks for the day, right? You couldn't be more wrong. I like finishing things early in this class just because it feels productive, in my opinion, and it feels good to finish things early. It also saves me a lot of time and next thing you know, once I'm done doing what I like to do, there's like 10 minutes of class left or whatever. I turn around and just look at what's going on with the class around me. It literally looks like the scene from Mitchell's vs. the Machines, the movie, where the family is about to have breakfast and everyone's on their phones. Nearly the entire class was on their phone and not actually doing what they were supposed to. I was so surprised that nearly every single person on was on their phone not doing what they were supposed to. People had like the computers and everything to actually do the assignment and yet no one was using it and was on their phone just consumed by what they were watching. Either doing shallow work or no work at all. I know that sounds rude to say, but it's kind of infuriating and sad to see stuff like this. Has our generation gotten this occupied with technology that we can't even freaking do our work with for a good 5 minutes without even being distracted? The one common thing I see during this period is a lot of shallow work that kind of looks like the Pomodoro technique. You work for a couple minutes and then you distract or take a break for a couple more. This is how people literally work now today. They do a little bit of work and go back on their phones for the rest of the class period. If you have this problem, frankly, the hard cold truth is that you will struggle doing work from now on. I'm gonna just say it right here. You'll most likely procrastinate a lot and have this problem where you can't even do your work for a good five minutes straight without any distractions. It also makes me feel sad for those because of the fact that these people will struggle with the harsh reality of life. If they constantly distract themselves with instant gratification activities all the damn time, they will feel the pain of dealing with the real world. They'll feel more burnt out at the end of the day because they're not used to doing hard work or just working for long periods of time because they're so used to distracting themselves to what is pleasurable. Even with all of this, you have complete control of where your life goes. You have complete control of where your life is headed. On the hard things now, feel the discomfort of doing things that will actually benefit you in the long run and you won't regret it later. But choose to do things later and push off important things further and further throughout the days and you will regret the fact that you should have worked hard while you still had the chance. This is the hard cold truth. If you want to achieve something, you have to go through that discomfort. Nothing is given to you on a silver platter. If you have big dreams, then fight for them. If you have big dreams and don't do anything about it, 
they won't come true. Instead of looking at the next video you're gonna click on, why not put your damn phone away and get to work? Why are we all blinded by the reality that is yet to come? If you're still a teenager and you have so much time on your hands, which most likely you do, then use that time wisely. Use that time to build some skills no matter how tired you feel. But it's been a long day. That doesn't matter. Sitting on a chair for 80% of that day anyway. How are you tired? My word of advice? Start early. If you are a teen, this is a gold mine. It could be, but it most likely should be a gold age for you. Great opportunity to condition yourself for the real world. But perhaps you don't want to live like this. Perhaps you would rather work on something to achieve the goals you want to. Because you have big dreams, don't you? You feel this urge and this sort of annoyance of thinking, yeah, I want to live a good and happy life. I want to do whatever I want. It's fine to feel confused about where to start at first. S start with something small and work your way to something much bigger than that. If you're determined to achieve, you will proceed. If you don't, you won't. In the book I finished a month ago, The, the Subtle Art of Not Giving an F, Mark Manson explains perfectly on how people are living in today's society. Everyone wants to live a carefree, happy, and easy life. Everyone wants that. It's easy to want that. A more interesting question a question that most people never consider is, what pain do you want in your life? What are you willing to struggle for? What Mark Manson is basically saying in this little section is that people expect to live and want a good life, but never take into consideration the amount of pain and suffering they're willing to go through to achieve that life. Happiness requires struggle, which is what people want to avoid. People want to avoid the discomfort and stay in their comfort zone most of the time. Everything is easy to get nowadays, and this causes people to lose value in many things, which results in people not being happy. Drive, the struggle, and the journey is what makes things fun. So it's your decision right here, right now. Are you going to push things off until later and later, falling into the pleasure you want and regretting it later? Or are you going to click off this video, get to work, begin grinding, and be more fulfilled and happy to where your life goes based on what you do right now? The choice is yours. Work now and avoid regret later.